jaw test, coagulation and flocculation. Hello guys, today for the topic coagulation and flocculation. So coagulation and flocculation is the process of uh, binding small particles in the aqua solution okay together uh, into the larger or you can say uh, to the heavier clumps okay which will settle down very quickly so the larger particles are basically known as flocks and the jar test basically if you are seeing in the figure is a pilot scale laboratory test that simulates the coagulation or flocculation with different chemical doses so in terms of chemical doses we not only use the aluminum sulfate we have uh, other coagulants also in the market that is the ferric chloride ferric sulfate okay and these coagulants are basically operative at different ph ranges okay and the purpose of this test is to estimate the minimum coagulant dose okay that is required to achieve certain water quality goals in other words you can say that the jar test helps to determine the right amount of treatment chemicals the lowest dose of chemical that provides us satisfactory settling in the dose used to treat the water okay so for these uh, tests what we have to do first of all as you could see that we are going to prepare the coagulants okay in the uh, distilled water okay and also we need to have the uh, glass beakers the jars and the uh, the stirring any you know, we have to stir the samples also we need to have the uh, prepared synthetic water or you can also treat uh, the 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 water from the treatment plant also you can treat that also okay so the objective of today's experiment is to estimate the coagulant dose okay first of all we have to prepare the, the coagulant okay this is aluminium sulfate okay so what we have done we have uh, added the uh, one percent in the one liter of the volumetric flask so here we have two liters of the volumetric flask so we have added two gram of the aluminium sulfate in the this DIYs water okay so this is our prepared coagulant okay okay now what we will do uh, we will be preparing our synthetic water which is here in the bucket and then we will transfer this synthetic water one by one in succession in, in series okay to the This one will be our reference, the first one. And similarly, we'll add the same amount of the water. Stop cutting. Stop cutting. Stop. Okay, now we will be adding the coagulants in the, in the jars, okay, which are in succession in series. So this is around 10 ml. So the first one we will be leaving as a blank. Okay. And similarly we will add the coagulant in the empty water. So this is 20 ml. And then similarly we will add in the empty water. So this is 30 ml. switch on the device okay and then we have to fix the paddle so that it doesn't touch the bottom and the surfaces side surface So guys now uh, it has almost been 2 to 3 minutes for, uh, for high RPM so now we will decrease the speed okay. So now we will be rotating this for 20 to 30 RPM around 20 RPM for another 17 to 15 minutes and then we will uh, allow the flocks to form down after switching on the setup, switching off the setup and then we will take the final W. Okay, so now we will stop the, the 
RPM. Okay. So now we'll wait for a few minutes to for the clocks to settle down, and then we will take the uh, facility of the super latent, the top portion of the water. Okay. So we'll wait for a few minutes for the clocks to settle down. So guys, now we will take the samples. So this is our reference one. Okay. So we will take the sample in order that the whole liquid or the assortment should not be disturbed. So this is our turbidity meter. Switch it on, and then we take the EV. So this is around forty-seven point four. Similarly, we take the reading for the second one. So second one, you can see the with the effect of dosage, it is decreasing. It was forty-seven, so now it dropped to five. So now similarly with the second one. So this is four. Point eight seven. Clearly, we will check the last one. So, which is six point three five. Okay. In order to check, we will check the second last one also. So, the removal is almost constant in all. We will check one more to confirm. So the optimum dosage in this case is 30 30 ml of the uh, 1% aluminium sulphate. 